In this video, we'll talk about patterns and using a basic stitch in various ways to create a different look throughout your weaving piece. So in this example, we've already created a basic stitch to start the weaving on the bottom. We've added some tassels and then I'm continuing my basic stitch upwards. So the pink yarn is the same kind of basic stitch we used for the as in the first video to start the weaving and then the yellow is actually yarn that's doubled up so you can see there's two strings every time I pass through so this is a great way to add uh, some texture so if you only have one kind of string for example you can really put variations on it even by just doubling up your yarn so that's one way to do it the other way is to add an interlocking weft and so an interlocking weft you're essentially using two or more colors at the same time and they're meeting somewhere along your weaving so in this case they're meeting on this warp cord and you're doing your basic stitch in and out but you're doing it in a pattern so we start with yellow we end on this warp cord here then you come in from the right side going left with your blue cord wrapping around that same warp cord and going back out then you come in again with your yellow again with your blue and so on you can also change up the warp cord which you are turning around on so maybe you want to do two rows of yellow and two of blue and then move over to this one here so i've already started one where my yellow is now shifting so now instead of this warp cord i want to wrap around the cord next to it so i'll go back in with my yellow come in with the blue it'll go one more over and so on and as you progress you'll be able to create diagonal lines for example on your weaving like as in this weaving here. So I started with an interlocking weft just on one warp cord and that creates blocks. But once I started shifting the warp cord that it's going on, you create diagonals just like that. And when you're working with interlocking weft, especially if you're just starting out, I recommend using the same weight yarn for each side. If you use something that's a little bit thicker, for example, this green cord and something thin like this white cord or yarn, uh, you might have kind of an imbalance when you're creating your weft. So you might need to do more weavings or basic stitches with a thin cord uh, compared to how many back and forths you do with a thicker cord. So now I'll just show you a couple more examples of interlocking weft. This example here, you can see I've used two colors but I've created three blocks. So I had my blue, my gray, and my blue again, and they're interlocking on those two areas. In this weaving, my interlocking weft is going at a diagonal, also a diagonal here, and I've even inserted a random line. But these are all basic stitches. So have fun with interlocking weft. Try different colors, different weights of yarn, doubling up on yarn like here, and you'll create a one-of-a-kind weaving.